Okay, so let me show you how you can create this uh, weird looking abstract object that moves in a perfect loop. And the really cool thing about this um, animation here is that you can make it into any shape that you want. So this tutorial here is going to give you some really good skills that you can use to play around with Blender or play around with uh, whatever you're doing in this uh, 3D world. So let's uh, get into it here. So we're just going to go File, New, and General. I'm going to go AX and Delete. I'm going to go Shift A and Mesh. And we're going to use a torus. It's going to go into Top View by clicking 7. I'm just going to turn on my screencast keys here. So now we have the basic shape and we want to deform this shape. So we make it more interesting. So we can go to the modifier and click add modifier and go to deform and go to displace. So if you are working with an earlier version of Blender, you just need to find this displace modifier and click on it and then from here it's going to be the same so click new and click this um, symbol here and change this from image or movie to clouds and now we can open up a timeline and it's a different it's a bunch of different ways you can make something go in a perfect loop in a perfect loop pretty much just means that the first frame is the same as the last so you can go back and forth here with the size like that make this go into a perfect loop but that's not very cool or very uh, nice to look at so let's uh, make this uh, let me show you this technique that I'm talking about so let's just hide this object there and we're going to bring in a curved circle. We're going to scale that curved circle up. We can deselect everything. And we can bring in an empty. So I like to use the cube. And now we're just going to connect this cube to this uh, curved circle here. So let's go to the constraints. Uh, open up this constraint window. Click follow path. Use the eyedropper tool. And click on the curve like that. So. If I set this offset here, go to the right and just set a keyframe on the first frame, and then go to the last frame and one frame more, so to 251, and type in 100 and press enter, and also select this keyframe symbol. This empty now will move smoothly in a perfect loopy way around this curved circle. And if this changes speed for you, you can just go edit preferences, animation, and set this default interpolation to linear. Like that. So now, if we bring back our object here and we click on a modifier and we can click on this symbol again, and we can bring in the size or bring up the size to something like that can now connect this empty to this abstract object and to do that is pretty simple all we need to do is click on our object now go to the modifier tab and change the coordinates from local to object and then use this eyedropper tool and just select our empty like that so now if I select my curve and I play the animation, this is uh, going completely crazy and way too fast. But if you bring down the curve like that, you can see that uh, the speed is going down. And uh, from here, you can bring down this uh, object as well you can bring down there 
curve to somewhere around that. That is nice. And we can play around with the strength or the size here. Or even cooler, we can bring in another modifier. So let's the, first of all just make this a little bit more smooth. So we can go to deform and smooth corrective and we can set this to seven or eight and now if we play around with strength we're gonna have this cool looking object that just continue to move in a nice loopy way and you can just scale it like that or scale it any way you want or we can bring in another modifier as well. So we can go and bring in a simple deform and create a completely new shape, something like that. Or something like this. So here you can just go and play around with it and you can right click and click shade smooth and uh, let's just set up the scene real quick as well so i'm using ev so turn on ambient bloom and screen and go to world and go to color and change this to sky texture and set the strength to 0 0.3 and go into render mode and uh, let me see so i'm not connected to the internet here but i used blender kit and i just typed in gold Okay, let me connect. So, um, we'll connect to this internet thing here. And, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so maybe it crashes. So, before, if it does, uh, like and subscribe and all of that uh, nonsense. Let's see. 